This is the new isocentric paddle. It's a 16 millimeter unibody thermoform paddle with etch foam in the perimeter and a Torre T700 carbon fiber surface. While it does look similar to many of the Gen 2 thermoform paddles on the market, it also comes with a price tag under $100, so let's see how it compares to the rest of the thermoform paddle market that's generally priced above $100. For the dimensions, it's a hybrid shaped paddle, so it has a curved top and the length is slightly shorter than a traditional elongated paddle. The website lists the overall length at 16.3 inches, width at 7.5 inches, handle length at 5.3 inches, and the handle circumference at 4 and a quarter inches. However, I compared this paddle side by side with other hybrid paddles like the Vatic Flash and the Proline Energy S and found that the dimensions were actually closer to that of the Proline Energy S. So for the length, it's slightly longer than most of the other hybrid paddles at 16.4 inches and the way the paddle face tapers at the throat allows the handle to be closer to 5.5 inches. Now since it does have similar dimensions to the Proline Energy S, like that paddle, it does have a higher swing weight than the other hybrid paddles. The website actually lists the swing weight at 120, which is definitely on the higher end for a hybrid paddle. Most hybrid paddles have swing weights at 116 and lower, and 120 is approaching the swing weight of the traditional elongated paddles. For example, the Vatic Pro V7 and Rhombus R3 Nova both have swing weights around 120 as well, so while the paddle does have the arrow curve at the top, it's not as maneuverable as most of the other hybrid paddles and is more in line with the quicker rectangular elongated paddles. Combined with a higher static weight averaging around 8.3 ounces out of the box, the isocentric does have a higher twist weight listed at 6.65 on their website. This higher twist weight number is also more similar to numbers you see on elongated paddles as well. The sweet spot and stability feel better on the centric compared to most of the other hybrid shapes where I think the paddle doesn't need any lead tape. Paddles like the Vatic Flash series and 60 Double Black Diamond are all paddles that I believe need a good lead tape setup to assist with stability, power, and sweet spot, but with the centric, I think the paddle is fine out of the box. While the paddle is head heavy, it's very stable and the sweet spot feels especially nicer at the top of the paddle, which is where curved top paddles tend to not have great sweet spots. The centric also has more power than most of the other hybrid thermos from its higher swing weight. Shots like baseline drives and serves all feel more powerful than when hitting with other hybrid shaped paddles. While the spin is also comparable to the other Gen 2 raw carbon fiber thermos out there, the feel and pop is slightly different. It's not as stiff as most of the other thermos and I would actually place it in between a Gen 1 and a Gen 2 paddle. It doesn't have as muted of a feel as something like the Vatic Prism series, but it's less poppy than a 6 double black diamond. I would compare the Centric to a hybrid paddle that already has a lead tape setup. While hybrid paddles generally have lower swing weights, in my experience, people generally add more weights to the paddle to adjust them, and this tends to bring the swing weight number up. The Centric already comes with a stable feel, good power, and a solid sweet spot, so in my opinion, it's equivalent to a lead tape setup I would add to another hybrid paddle, just without actually having to add the weights. The one difference it does have is that the face isn't as stiff as most of the other thermoform paddles, so it doesn't have as much pop. That said, it doesn't necessarily stand out from any of the existing thermos in the market, but it's comparable to all of them and comes in at a low price of under $100, so it's a very easy recommendation to make. The only other thermoform paddle in this price range is the Neonic Force, which is a traditional elongated paddle in the rectangular shape, and that also has a bit more pop because of the layer of fiberglass it has in the surface. Both are very solid options for thermoform paddles that are different from each other. I've done a review of the Neonic Force before on this channel if you want to check that out for more info, but otherwise, if you're looking for a more traditional hybrid thermoform paddle at an affordable price point, definitely take a look at the Isocentric. If you do want to purchase one, I've linked my discount code here and in the video description below that will get you 10% off your order from the Iso website.